Hi, welcome to Sass of Sabrina. This is the channel where I try one new thing a week and post however it turns out. I hope to inspire you to try something new of your own or make you laugh through my process. I post a new video every Tuesday. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for your time and watching my videos. I greatly appreciate it. I know I should have just adjusted the camera angle, but I'm just gonna crouch for now because you won't be looking at me this time. So I was blessed enough to have my neighbors give me a ton of apples. And some of the apples that they gave me are for cooking. And I realized I have never baked anything other than from a box. And I have never made like an apple crumble, which I love, or an apple pie. I did look at apple pie recipes, but unfortunately I'm not gonna try that this go around. I'll save that for maybe a future video. I, I just don't wanna consume the pie crust. I just don't really feel like eating it currently. I'm going to make an apple crumble. It's my favorite, favorite dessert. Yeah, let's just give it a go and see how it goes. So I'm just gathering up all the ingredients currently. I have my phone out, unfortunately, for the recipe because I obviously don't know what I'm doing. So I always have natural oatmeal and maple and brown sugar oatmeal in my house. I always just mix one packet and one packet. I find this too plain and that too sweet. So together it's like perfect. So I'm gonna do the same for the recipe. I just found a random recipe online. I was looking for several. I just picked an easy seven ingredient recipe and I'm tweaking it because we are non-dairy in this house. So I'm tweaking it so that it suits our needs. Okay, so peel the apples. Oh, I almost had a continuous string. That would have been fun. I'm stuck. Okay, so after peeling, core it and cut into half inch cubes. So take your two pounds of apples, peel them, chop them into half inch cubes. You get your pan out. So it doesn't say to grease this, but I'm going to. I do know that much about baking. So for this recipe, the toppings are one cup of oats, one cup of flour, one cup of sugar, obviously I'm using brown. Half a tablespoon of baking powder, if it will come out. Oh shit, that was teaspoon. Okay, so let's just take as much as that as possible out. One teaspoon cinnamon powder. My God, I hope that's gonna taste okay. There should be enough sugar in there to counteract anything anyway. Half a cup of butter and a pinch of salt. Oh wow, have you guys had that happen? Like my salt is corroding my salt shaker away. I literally just noticed that. That's kind of gross. Let's put that over there. Pinch. I almost forgot a step. You're supposed to sprinkle this with powder and sugar and cinnamon. Then pour the lemon juice on top. Sprinkle. Just gonna add another little sprinkle of flour. I'm afraid there's already too much baking powder in here, so that's just gonna be a pinch. Hopefully that'll be okay. Once again, I only bake from a box and I have no idea. And a pinch of sugar. Lemon juice. Two tablespoons. I'm reading that correctly this time. I think I'm gonna toss it first and then again. One. Two, and toss. I need this bowl to add the butter and mix that properly. So the next step is literally to just dump these in your pan. I feel like that's gonna be too small. I need to work away at this because my sugar is uh, clumpy. And then I need to add the butter. So once I have the sugar unclumped, we'll start the video again. My powder stuff is now powdery, not clumpy. I'm just gonna rest that in there for a second. I highly recommend not doing it like that, but I did it like that. I'm just gonna get in there with my clean hands. Oh, smells so good. So after assessing how much I have here and how little room I have in here, I decided I need to put everything in here. Oh, right, I almost forgot, which means I need to grease it again. Okay, have you ever greased with a paper towel before? It's awesome, I love it. You can keep your hands clean. 
I discovered that little tip a while ago, even though I only, I never bake and I bake from a box, but I do have some little tidbits of useful information. Just give that a shake so it's evenly dispersed. And then it says, throw that all on top, not on the counter and throw in the oven at 350 for a half hour. Hey Google, set timer for half hour. Well, it doesn't say if it needed a lid. I, I have no idea. It's a half hour later and the recipe just says to bake for half hour to 40 minutes. I guess depending on your oven and cook it till it's brown. Wasn't it brown to begin with? <laughs> so, I'm just gonna grab a fork and stick it in the apple to see if it's tender. Oh yeah. Okay, now it says let's sit with foil on it, but this pan has a lid. Fogging up already. Nice. Glad I picked easy for my first time. I'm gonna taste that out tonight. Put the recipe in the description box. Thank you so much for watching my video.